one more interesting thing which can be seen here that is the pinnacle. Every fort has its distinct pinnacle, but this pinnacle is very short in terms of any other fort which can be seen in Maharashtra state. So, if talking about this pinnacle, every fort has its distinct pinnacle just because to identify the fort. Every fort has, doesn't carry its identification only on its name, but with its pinnacle too. So that's the main idea of it, to attract the uh, other people to its pinnacle is a very, uh, like, it is being uh, like, uh, regarded as a symbol of, like, uh, mighty uh, in the fourth uh, system of uh, Shivaji Maharaj. So these kind of pinnacles are an attraction from the ancient times, like from when Shivaji Maharaj used to invade the other fourth, the so pinnacle was the first target and then the fourth. So first capturing the pinnacle and then coming to the fourth because Vinatal was the one which was uh, kept with the, uh, like, it had too much of attention of uh, various invaders that not only Shivaji Maharaj was one, but there were Mughal too. So everybody was attacking Vinatal first because Vinatal had the whole power of the fort under the one head and then the fort And I am going to tell you something about this fort. Uh, actually, the uh, reason selecting this fort was like uh, it was uh, an ancient fort which was specially used for uh, keeping such uh, kind of uh, specially termed as groups which were from uh, different kinds of bands of ancient times, especially those uh, in the era of uh, the Shivaji Maharaj. So he used to uh, keep all the uh, stored materials or uh, store all his weapons here. Like this is paved fort and what you can see just be behind me is the door but which is not looking like a door yet. This is because British, uh, when British entered India, they, they kept on uh, bombarding these places. Like which were the places especially which were conquered by Shivaji Maharaj and other dynasties. So especially they kept on uh, attacking these kind of places and destroy them uh, from the roof and first has changed it to big uh, places from mass which can be seen here especially. And uh, the door part can be easily identified through the structure which is usually seen in a, every kind of fort building. This is the upper part in which you can see the stone formation exactly. This, uh, this is a uh, specific identification wherein you can see a special kind of uh, door system is used. And otherwise, uh, as, uh, as a door, with the, uh, exactly the right side behind it, you can see that it is cut down pieces. It is cut down not directly cut down or destroyed, but it, it is cut down exactly pieces. It is, it is, it is, it is been cut down so that the destruction will be called onto a larger extent. So this was a thing. And earlier this boat was in a good state. It was not in such a drastic state or such a devastating manner. But it had some kind of remain can be easily identified as a group and something which, uh, which should be initiated by government especially and if government takes some initiative it will be a better thing which can be you can say like protecting the kind of group is a national heritage especially you cannot though not term it as national heritage but it is a it is an heritage of state actually so if if such kind of votes are being put into attention of the government be a change into the mind of people. Like here nearby station, this station is Mathera, but nobody knows about this fort. Like nobody visits here. We were roaming here since three hours, but we didn't find any of the uh, any of the person standing here or roaming here taking some kind of photograph. But if you just visit an hour, uh, you can you can take a walk of hour, hour, hour and that side, and you can find a man taking a photograph. And that's a big shit. If, if he comes and visits here, he could find an uh, interesting place to visit. But this place didn't receive that kind of awareness just because all the remains are not uh, not as seen like uh, of those, yeah, those of other forts which can be seen in Mumbai. Like the Bandra fort. Everybody knows Bandra fort. But this, this fort is famous just because government preserved it. This fort lacks preservation. If preservation initiatives were taken in this fort, this fort would have been a great place. It can yet act as a tourism place for uh, like people visiting from far away places. Like it is clearly situated very near to uh, Mathiran Hill Station. So especially if anybody focuses on it, it would be a better place to visit and you can see a hangout place too. Why not a hangout place? There is a, a very nice and interesting thing on the above which, uh, which you just saw in the uh, last part of the documentary. And
and I think you will like it. And that's where I end with my conclusion. Uh, I'm Pushkarov, and uh, the man behind the camera was Sumit Megaji. Thank you.